Alright guys, so it's been a while. I know I haven't done a video because I haven't got any fakes and I finally got a ring light. I uh, just got pretty good at identifying fakes except for this one. This guy had a lot of, he had a hundred feedback, you know. This is why it's really hard to buy these fragrances online. So I ordered the Hador Absolute. Look how beautiful the packaging, look how retarded it came. So this is the original one. The one I've had for like, I don't know, what, seven, ten years now? And look at the fake one. It's just a regular Hador bottle. And look how stupid they are. This is an old fragrance. They're putting the new CD on it. Look, look at that. The like the you know the C and D Christian Door 69ing kind of logo. And they're using the old logo on the fucking bottle. Look how smart they are. They're kind of slow. And look, it's not even the Love Salu bottle. Look, it's just a straight up Jador bottle. Look at this thing here. Oh, and it just keeps on leaking. Look at that thing. But yeah. I mean, there's not much, I mean, obviously, you know, it's fake. Check out the bottom right here. See how, like, they give you the illusion that you're getting more. <laughs> but look at this. They're just using the regular 3.4 bottle. And look at the packaging. Look at this fucking packaging. It's beautiful here, but atrocious when it comes to, like, like it's just sagging. It's just leaking everywhere. Uh, as you can see, there's... Oh, it don't even smell like that. It just smells like alcohol and uh, uh and something like really light lavender obviously this thing is powerful and loud you know that for a fact check the see oh check this out check the quality on this thing look at that see how it's way different from the fake one look at the bottom you're actually gonna have the love salute right there it's so hard because I'm holding this thing you see this right here can you fit my right there? See that? Love salute. And it's 2.5. It's not gonna be a 3.4. Look at this one. They're just using the regular door. I'm just repeating myself. And um, uh, look at that. And yeah, it's good quality, to be honest. I mean, if they just market it as a regular Hador, they could get away with it. But uh, they're getting greedy. But yeah, this is all fake stuff. If you're looking for authentic uh, fragrances, let me know. I do decants online. I do samples. I really don't sell these big bottles, but this is what I do for a living. I go out and hunt and try to get the best prices from manufacturers. I smell them. I try to get the rare fragrances that they don't make anymore. And I always keep the original ones because I've had them for years, almost a decade. So I could go always go back and smell them, compare them, and do like a silage, uh, what do you call it, test on it, see if it lasts or not. I compare colors and all that stuff so you know it's trusted and look at this thing look at the bottle man I'm not mad it's just a fucking inconvenience once once you order something you gotta do a return sometimes the guy just disappears they delete their account on Amazon too and they just have to go through the whole process and it's more of a pain in the ass because I order I could say what a hundred to five hundred fragrances a month and it's hard just to keep track have they refunded you and all that stuff but if you want to try an old fragrance, you can't afford a big bottle, let me know. I'll put my link to my store. I have multiple containers we can put some fragrances in. And so you can try it out. You know, you can try it out for a whole month or so. And then you have an idea and you can actually go buy it from a refuge. What do you call it? From somebody that has. Oh, I can't even say that word. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later because I'm really busy.